there, hunters. Kristen for guns.com. So glad you joined me as this is one of my favorite times of year, preparation for deer season. I love getting after those whitetail and I hope you do as well. And if it's that season, you know what that means? It could be time for a lot of you hunters to be buying a new rifle. While it's great to buy a brand new rifle and there are some great ones on the market, we don't always have the budget or the interest in a new gun. And that's why I'm here to talk to you today. There are some awesome classic deer rifles on the used racks at your gun shop. And I'm gonna go through six of my favorites today that make great, reliable, durable, and accurate buys that'll bring you success in your deer season. Who doesn't love classic rifles? And one of the first that fits that description is the Winchester Model 70. And this is a fine specimen that I have here in a 243. Those pre-64 actions have that nice control round feed, a claw extractor, and are just fantastic guns for hunting and for collectors. But even if you don't want to pony up the money for a pre-64, any of those used Winchester Model 70s that you find will serve you very well in the deer woods. I can't say enough about the pre-64 Model 70s like this 243. It's an awesome gun. Even if it's not a pre-64, you're going to enjoy the Model 70. It's got such a smooth and reliable bolt action. This 243 is great. A lot of people will tell you that's not enough power, but it is. If you're a good shooter and you can place a shot, it's what I shot my first deer with. And let me tell you, it did the job and it'll do it in the Model 70 as well. Let's take a look here. That's a low recoiling round, a nice round. Look at that strong eject as that comes out of there. But you've got beautiful walnut stocks, sling swivels, and these guns come in all the calibers that deer hunters would want. One of my next favorite classic deer rifles and one that I've shot a lot of deer with personally is my Remington 700 BDL. You can buy an ADL or a CDL, but on those used racks, these BDLs always catch my eye. There's that Monte Carlo stock, that gloss finish to the wood, the skip line checkering and that black end cap. And you know what? They just shoot. They're not expensive rifles, but they're accurate. They look good and they're available in all the calibers that you'd want for deer season. And in my opinion, those used Remingtons on the used gun store rack are head and shoulders above a lot of the new guns that you can buy today. So why not grab yourself a classic deer rifle? My Remington 700 BDL and 30 odd six here took a deer for me last season. I love that glossy finish and the skip line checkering but I'm not afraid to get it out in the woods. You can see it's got some marks here in the stock. Those are battle marks from my hunting seasons and memories of deer that I've taken. But why the Model 700 BDL? On these models, you have the drop floor plate, not a drop box magazine, although there is a Model 700 BDL with the drop box magazine. So you can look for that as well, if that's your preference in hunting rifles. But you've got the nice hooded front sight, those irons. I like to have a scope so I can reach out. It's an accurate gun. The jeweled bolt is really a pretty thing. Such a smooth action, very reliable. Let's give this a go in the 30 out six. Not bad at all. Check that baby out. That's a reliable deer hunting rifle. And the nice thing is you find these quite often on the used gun racks and also in the guns.com vault. For those of you who follow me on my Wilderness Woman page, this next selection will make perfect sense. And that's the Savage Model 99. I love lever action rifles, and this is one of the most interesting with its internal rotary magazine. You don't see an external hammer here. They're available in some awesome calibers like the 300 Savage, 250, 3000, and 22 high power. It's a shame they don't make them anymore. I would get down on my knees and beg Savage to come out with another run of these. But for the time being, this is a gem that you often find on the used racks at your gun stores or in the guns.com vault. It's such a smooth action. The guns come up so nice. Whether you have a scope or you're shooting iron sights, this is a great unsung hero in the deer woods. But the coolest thing about this is that internal rotary magazine. And you'll see if you're not familiar with them, they actually have a brass round counter. So as you put the rounds in there, you have the visible indicator telling you how many rounds are in that internal magazine. This is a 300 Savage, a great deer cartridge. Been around for a long time, one of Savage's originals. So I just dropped that round in there. There's no external hammer to accidentally bump. You have the safety down here right on the lever. So I'm gonna take a shot with this one, a little more recoil than the 3030, but again, a very manageable 300. <laughs> yep. 
you'll see there, nice shooter. Look at that, kicks out the side. You can put a scope on it. If you're lucky enough to find one of those undrilled and tapped originals, keep it as a collector, but don't be afraid to shoot it. They are awesome rifles. This next one is a classic American rifle and one that I like for its good looks and the way it shoots. And I have a couple of these. This particular one is a 300 Weatherby, and that's because this is the Weatherby Mark V bolt action rifle. You'll see that beautiful glossy finish to the stock, the skip line checkering, those grip caps on the pistol grip and the forend. They're darn good looking eye catching rifles, but boy, they can shoot and they make great hunting companions. So if you're in the market, maybe you can't afford a new Weatherby, but you can find some great deals sometimes on the used Weatherby Mark Vs. Sometimes you just want something a little different, outside of the ordinary, but also very special. And that's the Roy Weatherby design calibers. I have the 300 Weatherby Magnum here. You can look at the 270 mags, the 240s, all some great options, even some of the bigger ones for big game. I just love the rounds. There's a lot of power going down range in these, and it's done on an overbuilt rifle, those nine lug bolts. The Mark Vs are excellent actions. So here goes the 300. It may be a slight overkill for deer, but you know what? This round will reach out and it's a great rifle. You'll see there's some recoil there, but not bad at all, especially when you have a muzzle brake on the gun. This is a well-used rifle that I've shot a lot, so nice smooth action, but a very reliable gun and one that always catches my eye on the used racks. If you're in the Midwest or you're a white-tailed deer hunter, odds are either you have or somebody in your deer camp uses a 30-30. And there's good reason for that. These guns have been around for years. And what I'm talking about is a Winchester 94 and a Marlin 336. And here I have in my hands the Marlin 336, just a basic lever action design. This particular one is a 30-30. You could get a 32 Special, even a 35 caliber if you prefer that for knockdown power. But these are some of the most reasonably priced deer rifles on the market today. They're great guns, whether you're an experienced shooter or even a young hunter. They come up nice. You've got the iron sights. And the nice thing on the Marlin is the side eject here. So it's easy to mount a scope on top of the receiver. Here's the model 336, probably one of the most inexpensive of these used guns on the racks. It's a reliable feeding lever action. The only thing we want to be mindful of, especially for newer shooters, is practicing lowering that hammer once you've worked the action because you don't have the traditional safety. You do have a half cock, which you'll see we're resting on now, but it's just to be mindful always of trigger control, but of making sure you've lowered that hammer back to half cock. But the 3030 is a light recoiling round that has accounted for so many deer over the years. And especially with Hornady's new lever revolution ammo, you can reach out even further to take down some nice white-tailed deer. What a smooth shooter. Now watch as I eject, you'll see this side eject. No problem with a scope on top of that rifle and a very reliable action. Plus that little old western flare of the lever gun. We talked a bit about the Marlin 336, and the closest relation to that is, of course, the Winchester 94. If you're a fan of the American legend, by all means, look at those Winchester lever action rifles. This is a 94 in 3030. The pre-64s, again, just like the bolt action, are awesome and collectible guns. But even if it's not pre-64, these guns are going to serve you very well in the deer woods. This one's been around for years, shot lots of deer, and still has plenty of life left in it, and it'll be passed down to the next generation. The main difference here with this particular Winchester is your angled top eject. So you'll see that my scope here sits in a side saddle mount. So it's not that you can't put a scope on, it's just a little different process. So something to consider when you're shopping for those used rifles. If you like that 30-30 round and lever action rifles, these Winchester 94s are indeed an American legend. Great made guns, again, whether you're pre-64 or some of the little bit older used models, they're just great guns. You've got that smooth cycling bolt. And again, you don't have the safety. So just being mindful of controlling that hammer as you lower it. I've got the side mounted scope on this one. So it's a really nice deer gun, and best of all, it's inexpensive. Low recoil, nice shooting rifle, accurate. You could reach out to 200 yards with some good lever revolution ammo. 
Now that you'll see here with the angled top eject, when I kick out that round, comes out a little bit different than the Marlin, but different is not bad. That's a great gun and one that has taken lots of deer. The Winchester, the Remington, the Marlin, Weatherby, Savage, all great names that have been making guns for decades, make great new guns and these awesome used guns. And if you're in the market, by all means, shop around, check out your local gun stores, support those local businesses, but also don't be afraid to check out guns.com vault. We have tons of used rifles there, all of the ones that we talked about today. And head down to the comments below. Let us know what you're hunting with this year. Give us a like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this story, and we'll have more hunting content coming your way.